Ghana. Population 21 million. Average life expectancy 56. There are fewer than 0.05 physicians per 1,000 people and less than 0.9 hospital beds. What did I just say? Uh, life expectancy. It's boring, isn't it? No. There's too many figures. Well, maybe just a, a few, yeah. Right. Okay. Patrienza, a remote village within the Asante Akim district of central Ghana. The hospital has just two doctors. It's not equipped for even basic surgical procedures. The people of Kibutu need our help. Oh, it just sounds so icky. Hey, hey, hey ah, she's, she's a... gonna love it. She's gonna love it. She's gonna love it. Mm. Mm. Ah, Tandy's still not here. Um, try Rick? I have. Why don't you find her? I'm delegating, Lola. Is that what the kids call it nowadays? Hey, hey, not finished yet. Hopefully fall off the edge of a very high cliff. Mm. Edie is sending up four. Um, I've got a meeting with Grayson. Can't you cancel? No. Ask her if she's ever going to fix the aircon, will you? I can't cope on my own. Oh, of course you can. Someone around here has just had a heart attack, remember? Are they? Then they're on the wrong ward. Send them up to Darwin immediately. What does that say? Oh, uh, metformin. 50 minutes. You can read that. I've learned. I have very nice handwriting, thank you. I have it. <coughs> Oh, welcome back. Good to see you again. Welcome back. Rick. Where's wifey? Haven't dished her already. Just hoping. She's uh, in Ethiopia. Wow. I didn't better be on the same continent. That's bad. Her brother died. What happened? Car crash. Um, she won't be back for a few weeks. I look so happy about it. But, um, send her our love. I thought yeah. her brother died a few years ago. She has two brothers. Had. Our brother. See you as we did see now. Right. Hey, come on. Got a meeting. Got a meeting? Um, I'll explain on the way. Nina Parr, uh, works between London and the hospital in Patrienza. Her aim is to bring the children here to receive the medical attention they need. Uh, let me give you an example. This is Beatrice Adenu. She's uh, an eight year old orphan, uh, has a large mass in her abdomen that's possibly cancerous. Oh, sorry, I've got a slight technical hitch. How many children would the charity want us to help? Uh, uh, Rick? I don't have the uh, latest figures. Um, uh, three or four a week. That's quite a lot. How will it affect our waiting lists? It won't make a difference. I'm just thinking about our 18-week pathway. <laughs> We have to be 85% compliant by next March. We, we'd operate outside uh, NHS hours, use the theatres when they're empty, all the staff would work pro bono. Have you had much interest from the staff? Rick and Tandy Griffin are fully backing the project. Absolutely. Uh, and I've had uh, quite a few scrub notes signing up. There's a, a full list in here somewhere. Look, let me just cut to the chase here. Uh, money? I'm afraid so. Uh, well, the uh, charity will part fund the operation if the hospital could match the costs. How much? With aftercare, uh, about 10,000 per patient. Sutherland thought the idea was very workable. Yeah, well, I'm afraid Sutherland had rather fanciful ideas about the budget. Please, don't repeat this outside these doors, but I have inherited a trust in financial meltdown. It'll be very good publicity for the hospital. So would staying open. You were bloody useless. Well, if I had more than five minutes to prepare... You knew what we were asking for. And you knew it was a gamble. It was, it's a lot of money. Oh, forget it. But we can still make it work. Well, it's a bit late for that now, isn't it? Abra. I thought she'd say yes. She's getting weaker. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Initially, I thought it was an appendix mass. Maybe a tumour. We don't have anything like this in Patrienza. Mean used to work at St George's. I'd rather get dysentery than work for the NHS again. All those league tables and targets. How old are you, Beatrice? Eight. Tell Abra what you want to be when you grow up. A princess. Princess? Right. Well, your Royal Highness, what I really need is for you to lie there very, very still. Do you think you can do that? Who's paying for this? 
That's just a scam. Come on. What about the CEO? What she doesn't know won't hurt her. End it. Now. Fine. You know. Oh. I wonder the poor kid can't eat. What do you think? A cyst of some kind? What's going on? The CEO said no to the charity operations. There are three more children waiting. I have promised them treatment. I'm sorry. You assured me. I got it wrong. If you send her back, she's going to die. You know that, don't you? Where else? Oh, but... You're on the wrong floor. Elliot, glad to be back. No, not at all. It's, um, it's a bit quiet up here today, isn't it? Connie's at a conference. What's that smell? It's diet. Hmm. You heard about Tandy? Yes, congratulations, you're no longer a racist. You read the letter? I did, yes. Strange, don't you think? Such a complete vault fast. I hear she's still off. Yes, for a couple of weeks. Is that all? Pity. Is that better? We're used to much worse. Thank you, Abra. Just stay here, OK? Oh, sorry. I thought this was free. Uh, please send her down. Why? Stand with Baker. Didn't want to risk it with the other kids. We're overcrowded as it is. Who's in charge here, Lola? Nominally or actually? Doing my best. Yeah. And I'm doing everything else. Hey, how'd it go? Um, not good. See, you didn't go for it. No. You worked so hard. Um, some drink later, yeah? Excuse me. She needs an operation. Keller's booked up. She's got cysts pressing against her stomach. She's starving to death. Abra, who wants just do things by the book? Like your wife, you mean? The hospital administrator's not going to check up on her for 24 hours. She'd be in and out before they know it. I said no. Fine. Have you seen this? <laughs> yes, I read it. I wish to say categorically that the allegations I made against Elliot Hope were completely unfounded, that he's never behaved in a racist manner towards me. Abra, I've read it. Blah, 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 signed Tandy Griffin. It doesn't sound like Tandy. She did it for me. Why? Wedding present. What? Well, something doesn't add up. I mean, you've defended her from the start, so what's changed? Nothing. So she's put her reputation on the line simply because you asked her to? Yes. And now she's gone back to Ethiopia? Her brother died. She's gone without you, her new husband. We couldn't both be off work. She's coming back to Hobby? Well, I don't see how she can, really, not now. That must be difficult for you, because you brought her here, so you're sort of responsible. Come on. Beatrice's operation won't take more than a few hours. No. Why? Because it's illegal, that's why. No more so than allowing an incompetent doctor to continue working. Oh, come on, Rick. Man, this is your best man, for God's sake. I stood by, you could at least return the favour. 